There's a device that I've been using called a Whoop. Hello, and welcome back to I Got To. I'm Liz Sugano, aka Ribbit FPV, and this is my husband, Dan Sugano, aka FPV Skittles. And we're here to talk about weekly challenge number 24, the Kitty Canopies FPV Freestyle Progression. Right now, FPV flying is in its infancy as a sport, and like many new sports, the racing has caught on first because it's much simpler to determine who wins and who loses, and thus who the best racing pilots are. Uh, however, the freestyle has not been organized in a cohesive way yet that could lead to any kind of generally accepted competition rules. Therefore, it's currently much more subjective to say who the best freestyle pilot is, and we don't currently have any um, organized freestyle competitions. So part of our goal at iGAO is to take the first step uh, in progressing FPV freestyle as a legitimate sport by starting to categorize, categorize all of the moves and all of the tricks into a comprehensive list that will eventually be accepted throughout the community. I'm also working with others in the FPV community to uh, put together freestyle competitions for whoops as well as full-size five-inch drones. So I'm super excited about the future of FPV freestyle as a sport. And I think eventually, just like in snowboarding and other newer sports, the freestyle side will be more popular than the racing. Thanks for the history lesson, Professor Skills. Let's get back on track. This week's sponsor, Kitty Canopies, are made by one of our fellow judges, Alex Rescom, aka Sir Kitty McMittens. The winner of Best Video of the Week, as well as three random giveaway winners, will be the first ones to get their hands on these awesome chrome canopies, because they're still in the design phase and not available to the public yet. Okay, now let's jump into the requirements for weekly challenge number 24, the Kitty Canopies FPV Freestyle Progression. First, we need to introduce the new tricks. So we have seven new tricks we're introducing this week. The first four tricks are to be performed on obstacles or point of interest that can be flown over and under, like a split S or power loop type obstacles. Trick number one is called the Barani, and it was named by Sync FPV, who started off in iGAO and had one of the cool orbit videos that's in the intro. Anyway, um, I had started to come up with a trick like this when I was making up the challenges and I had just kind of originally called it the Skittle Loop and then when I was looking on Instagram I saw that he had done the trick and named it the Barani which is also a gymnastics move name and I like that name a lot more. So it's basically you start doing a power loop but then at the top of the power loop you do a 180 degree inverted yaw spin and then you come back down, finishing with the Maddie flip.
dubbed the Skittle Loops. And it's basically a Barani immediately into a Karuri, except you finish with a Power Loop instead of an Immelman. So you start flying under the obstacle, start a Power Loop, 180 degree inverted yaw spin at the top, come down in a Maddie flip motion, then 180 degree yaw spin at the bottom, and then finish with a Power Loop. So kind of like two loops with yaw spin switches in between. by another fellow judge, Intent to be Human. You can check out his video here. Hi, this is Intent to be Human. I'm gonna share with you a new trick. It's called the split back. Go into like a split S and throw a flip. Just like that. So like a split S, you come in, you hit it, you dive and around. This one you're gonna do similar. You track it and then just throw a flip into it. It's really fun on a tiny If you go up and over something, you throw in some styliness to it kind of like a core kind of snowboard, so you can kind of do it a different, couple different ways. But don't just go straight back, that's not the move. It is not the move to go up and be like, wonk, wonk, wonk. It's got to be a little bit more juicy, like, wow. Alright, there it is. Good luck! The next two tricks are wall tap variations. So trick number five is called the downtown tap. That is a down facing tap and then immediately after a front flip out. So this trick was first done by Michael Anderson, aka Downtown FBV, one of our judges. Formed in the open air. So trick number seven is called the McReels spin. You start flying forward and then you roll to inverted, perform a 540 inverted yaw spin, and then perform a half front flip to get back to flying forward again. So you must start with forward flight and end with forward flight in the McReels spin. And this was first done by Sam Carmel aka McReels in the inverted yaw spin week when he accidentally spun too much. Okay, now that you're familiar with the new tricks, let's go over the requirements for weekly challenge number 24. Requirement number zero is that you have a 120 second max video length and you must include your pilot name in your submission. Requirement number one is that you perform the Barani, the Karuri, and the split back on a doorway sized opening. That's seven feet tall and three feet wide maximum. Each of these tricks can be performed in a separate clip. Requirement number two is that you must perform a downtown tap and an oracle tap on 10 foot max walls. This can be done indoors or outdoors and may be done in separate clips. Requirement number three is the super combo. So you must perform all seven of the new tricks, the Barani, the Karuri, the Skittle Loops, the Split Back, 
the downtown tap, the oracle tap, and the McReel spin, all in one clip with no bumps or ground taps. Um, but the obstacles or point of interest that you do the first four tricks on and the wall can be any size or any height in any locations. So they just all have to be in one clip, but no size requirements on the obstacles. As always, we suggest practicing on the sim before attempting any of this in real life. Dan will have an environment set up in Tiny Whoop Go and Velocidrome so that you can do that. So you're welcome to play around with trick combos or invent something totally new yourself. And if you do, make up a really cool name and be part of the FPV freestyle progression. It's also a great way to get a top video or best video of the week. Good luck and happy whooping.